Alright everybody, welcome back to a 10 minute video. Today we're gonna see Blake Stone. Blake Stone was released in 1993. It was uh, what I consider the third first person shooter that was released on PC. It was a, based on the Wolfenstein 3D engine and except you were some sci-fi dude shooting people with laser guns. So here we go. One thing that's very interesting is this wonderful screen. If you take a minute to read the second paragraph, it is not meant to be on any BBS. What is a BBS? Well, for those who don't know, it was what was before the internet. Anyways, that's a whole other story. Let's move on. As you can see, this game was released by Apogee, and they didn't want you to pirate their software. Alright, so uh, basically, like I said, this game is a first person shooter. And, uh, oh, a little warning here if you're not 13 years or older, I'll watch this video. It's full of blood and gore. God knows what could happen if you see blood and gore. Anyways, so yeah, so uh, here we go. Let's launch this game. Oh, see, I did a little mistake here. Uh, see, cycles are at set at 3000. Let's pump this up to 20,000 actually. This game was 3D. So, ooh, you need some CPU cycles to get that silky frame rate. Alright, so basically, this game is consisting of, I think, eight missions with eight floors and two additional secret floors where you have to find, as the message says here, some key cards. So, right now, we have to find the red access card before proceeding to the next floor. Press a key. Alright. This game could be played with the arrow keys, you know, left, right, to turn, and back and forth, well, let's go back and forth. Or you could play with a mouse. You also move back and forth with the mouse. If you like, uh, you know, keep pushing your mouse up and down, up and down, we can do that. Or you can use your keys to go back and forth. You know, hybrid, as you wish. Ooh, this game had some nice voice. People call up for medics as they die. Boom. Oh, I got it with easy, all right. So, as you can see, for those who knows Wolfenstein 3D, very similar interface with your health and downstairs. Downstairs. I mean, at the bottom of the screen. What the hell am I saying? I'm crazy. Alright. So, uh, ooh. I'm gonna kill some people here. It looks like a cafeteria or something. Ooh, there's some, some monies. I think you can buy stuff from these food units. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you know what? A little tip. Pro tip here, don't go shopping until you clear the rooms, because you can get shot in the ass. Alright. Oh, some interesting thing about graphics uh, uh, for this engine was that objects were just a picture. Two-dimensional picture. So, if you can notice, I'm going around the table, but the chairs are always behind the table. And they turn to face me. No, they're not magical tables, it's just a limitation of the engine. Still, hey, come on, in the first 3D games, you, you are the killer, stalking people with your red pistol, red laser gun, whatever. And it has a really cool noise. Ah, I hate the limit of maximum sounds that can be played, it's really annoying. Huh? Did you hear that? Epic. Also, when you pick up ammo, you have some nice noise, doors, pretty cool. I'm not even sure if when I had this game the first time I even had a sound like ah, yeah, 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 that was bad. Yeah, the the little lightning things here, don't touch them. Not good. Second pro tip. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna kill these mix between Chewbacca or I don't know. That was weird. Man, these people. Uh, have good eyesight, I can barely even distinguish that they're a person and they're figuring out that I'm an intruder. I guess my red flash gun gives me away. Alright, didn't, didn't, didn't I take this gun from them? Hmm, strange. Whatever. I must be dressed in a clown suit or something. No, I'm kidding. Come on. Alright, we're making some good progress here. Killing people. What are these things? Oh, okay, they're ammo. Ammo. Hmm. Aha! Switches. Oh, another... God, that looks like a Rancor or something. Cross between Chewbacca, a Rancor, and... I don't know. 
There you go. Took care of that. Oh, we're at 18,000 points. Epic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, talk a bit more about this game. When it was released, originally the sales were good. It was released just about a year after the release of Wolfenstein 3D. So I'm guessing that, you know, the people who were sci-fi into sci-fi love this because it was like, well, probably the first first person space shooter bought by space shooter. I mean, you know, shooting aliens and whatever this thing is. God. Annoying. Die, you. Wow, wow. He's taking a lot of shots to kill this little, whoa. Ah, ha, ha. Didn't even hear me shooting up his friends in there. I was probably listening to his Walkman. Were there CD players in 93? Can't remember. Alright, let's go. So, med packs. First aid kit, sorry, not med packs. My bad. How am I supposed to get those yellow things in there? Is that just garbage? I don't know. What's the point of this room? I don't know. Anyways, to get back to uh, a little bit more info about this game. So when its initial release did good sales for about a month, and then pom 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 pom, Doom was released. Oh, and uh, for those who know Doom and the impact it had in first-person shooters, you know, you had elevation, lighting, a bunch of stuff. Right, so I'm not going to talk about Doom. So I'll definitely make a video about that. And you can see for yourself. And also, the other game that was released around that time was, uh, uh, I think, uh, close after the release of Wolfenstein 3D, there was a game called, I think, Ken's Labyrinth? Is it Ken? Yeah, Ken La Ken's Labyrinth. And it was like some 3D game where you were some guy in a haunted mansion or something. And that game was actually done with its own engine. They didn't rip off uh, the engine from Wolfenstein 3D, like this game did. And if you know Wolfenstein 3D, you're gonna look at these walls and say, are we in, nah, eh, just forget it. Ooh, there's blood on the walls. Eh, they really wanted to earn their rating here. The blood and guts everywhere. There we go. No! Shit. Oh, gold bars. Yeah, no, there's definitely a way to go in that mutant cage because there was gold bars all over the place, or it's just a tease. The developers put it there knowing that you go crazy trying to find a way to get to them and you can't. And what the hell is this guy? Ow, ow, ow. What did it say? I saw his name in the lower left screen there. He's dead? Wow, ah, what the hell is that? Oh, it's an enemy. I thought it was just like, you know, like in those platformer games, like there's these balls of lightning moving around. You have to avoid them. But no, it was an actual enemy. I guess it's pathing was pretty shit though, because it just seemed to be in that little, this little area here turning circles. Oh, and like I mentioned about the uh, the bit mats turning as you rotate around them. It's, it's funny for the cad, you know, for the cadavers, as you can see here. Ooh, it's turning to face me! Oh my god! All right. Um. Hmm. Oh, yes, wrong way. So yeah, so uh, if you like first-person shooters, I definitely recommend you playing this game, Wolfenstein 3D. And then, whoa, there's a what? What? There's two of these guys? What the hell? Come on! Oh, own them. Bad. You are bad, sir. You did. Right. So yep, like I said, if you like first-person shooters, definitely visit these games because. Hey, you have to pay tribute to what led to, I don't know, Halo, all that stuff. I'm not gonna name more, there's just too many first person shooters out there, it's crazy. Like, everything's a first person shooter. Ah, my god, electric arc barrier. I am going in circles. This is bad. Oh, yeah, some nice sound when you run into a wall there. You guy just rips one. Nice. Anyways, so uh, definitely look out for Blake Stone. Pretty good uh, first-person shooter. Well, I'm being uh, pretty good, you know. 
Give it a try, come on. There's nothing to lose. This is probably available on some abandonware website, so... Or is it still copyright protected? I don't know. I own a shitload of uh, DOS games, so I don't really know. So, yep. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the prolonged absence. Things were pretty crazy. So, uh, I'm going to try to pump out some more videos, and I think next video will be either Wolfenstein 3D or Ken's Labyrinth. So, uh, there you have it. Blakestone. One of the first pioneers in first-person shooters. With a red gun, I rock her down. It is fun. Alright, so take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Vote if you can, subscribe if you want, and leave some comments or questions or whatever. Take care.